A lot of credits today are, I open for this comic or open for that comic, gives them a lot of gravitas for comics, say they open up for a bigger name comic. Ron Zimmerman, my old friend Ron Zimmerman, dearly departed Ron Zimmerman, told me this story to Don Adams, the great Don Adams from Get Smart, who's also a stand-up comic for many years, told him this story. Don Adams was a young comic in New York City in the 50s. He's struggling. He's not making any money. He's got a wife and a kid, and he's not been able to pay his bills. His agent calls him up and says, I got a job for you. It's not a lot of money. It's up in Boston. You got to get up there as soon as you can. You're opening up for Mae West. Not a lot of money, but it may lead to more money. Mae West was a huge star in the 30s. Now she's coming back to do sort of a cabaret act, and she wants an opening act for her first night in Boston. Dot Adams says, I don't care if it's short money. One-time gig, I need it, I'm going. He goes up to Boston. First night, opens up for Mae West. He kills. He does fabulously. 20 minutes of gold. Goes back to his dressing room after he watches Mae West. He's sitting there. Mae West's assistant comes in and says, Miss West would like to see you. Don Adams goes into her dressing room. She says, we can work together for a long time. I think you could work with me for this tour all over the United States. But you have to take a couple of things out of your act. He says, sure, whatever. She starts naming them. Take this out. Take that out. Take that out. When she finishes, she says, those were all my punchlines. She says, yeah, you don't need those. Next night, he goes on stage. He does all his setups and stories without the punchlines. Audience says, Mae West comes up. First clever thing she says, lays them out. She kills. That's what a headlining comic wants out of an opening act. Someone who's going to bring the audience in the vicinity of funny without actually being funny. Thank <laughs> you.